What is up? Hey, so here we are on episode two. We are at the uh, BNA airport. We're taking off to go to Fort Lauderdale. Nice early morning flight. It's 6.40. Um, we landed in Fort Lauderdale. We got an hour and a half drive, I think, to Stewart. Then we're gonna go meet up with the raw nutrition team, probably go to the warehouse. Uh, I think they have a new location they're looking at. We're gonna do some samples, and then we're gonna do some training, and then we have a dinner, so stay tuned. Basically, Trevor has some utopia here that the bag order is going to go me, him, Austin. Yes. If it goes in that order, I owe him $10. If it does not go in that order, oh, I need to wrong. Order. Austin's back first. $5, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> this is paid for, basically. Yeah. A nice event. Hey, iced coffee. Oh, you didn't even either. get it. Uh, this is my phone. They wouldn't do it. The guy was not uh, not really having it today. <laughs> How many off-white hoodies do you in there? <laughs> How many could you fit in there? Probably like pull into about probably at least ten grand worth of off white <laughs> Right now I'm trying to figure out my life. No, we are uh, in Fort Lauderdale, heading to Stewart. Uh, I'm not exactly sure the plan today, but I know that a uh, little business talk, sampling of product, training, and a dinner is on the card. Easy day. That's what it's all about. We have made it, got off my sweaty ass shirt. And uh, we are going to go to, uh, where are we going? Uh, Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. I have uh, consumed 200 grams of rice before we've gone in there. So uh, one part of the job done. Then we're going to go uh, dish out some samples about 2 o'clock and uh, go from there. All right, so on the road, um, okay. can't really get all the vitamins in with the right meals, but we're kind of going to go get everything in right now for the most part. Uh, do a multivitamin right here. It's actually five of them to get a fully dosed multivitamin. Two D3. If I can get my fat hands right there. Then we're gonna do CoQ10. We're gonna do curcumin. We do a liver detox. We're in a health phase in astragalus. These basically are more of a health. Then with the meal, we'll do a digestive aid. Burbine. Um, both really more for digestion. And then this I won't do. I generally do in the morning and at night, which is uh, ashwagandha. I will save that for later. Cool, so we are here at Revive and Raw down in Stewart, Florida. Um, coming to visit the guys here, trying to work on some flavor approvals for some of the Seabum pre-workout line. So we're gonna get them to taste test this stuff. We've got five different flavors. A strawberry pineapple, a sour green apple, a watermelon candy, a Miami Vice, and then this one's a little special. We can't talk about it. Brent's already alluded to this a little bit um, for something in the future for a cool little project that we're working on. But we're gonna get some five flavors approved hopefully today. Um, spend some time with the guys uh, and continue to work on things as Brent's talked about too. We're building the, the Revive Clinic inside the carbon. So we'll get that all together. Um, see if we can get some more stuff done. Mm -hmm. All right, this is strawberry pineapple. Who else trying? John? Are you using stevia or none for you? No, none for the. We're going, no, I meant for the ones you said you tried. Oh, what you prefer. We, we can be a couple different options. Bro, with Steva, you, you need less of usually, so okay. I can't even try that. Crickets. The pineapple is a little artificial. I'm a very hard critic on pineapple because I love pineapple. Like real pineapple. It's a disgrace to pineapple. I think we should do a very... Not the same as Vons, but a different flavor, really sour. I agree. For Babbage. The strawberry pineapple, but just really sour, or just no. something sour? Something sour. Cool, we're going sour green apple right here. Except not green apple. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's next. That's what I love I don't love the flavor green apple, so I don't want to partake in this, yeah. but it does taste like a great green so apple. So it's funny, I remember the last time we were here, you told me you didn't like it. And so Courtney and I started talking and something to the idea of, you're moving so many skews now, eventually there's gonna be one that you don't like, Oh, I know, that's why I'm trying to like yeah. reserve myself from answering. Yeah. This is fucking good. I like it better than sour. watermelon, but it's not. This is a Starburst. This is a Starburst. Don't worry about it. It's a literal you Starburst. Starburst. You're yeah. drinking a yeah. Starburst. Trying to help you out. Yeah. If you start giving like that's a good product, that's good. I don't know if it's because we're on our fourth one, but it doesn't taste like the original. The uh, pina colada is stronger. That's what it is. You're not tasting any of the. Yeah, it's very pina. Coconut. It's coconut's covering up everything. So either she needs to bring it up or bring the coconut down. I'm sorry. You can smell it. See, we need him here when we do this. He just like sucks. He's like, we need to do that. I'm like, yeah, exactly what he said. Feel my joints and rotators just like stuff. Yeah. So I'm just like, after something, I should probably stop doing this. 
Do you, switch, do you switch the machines a little bit? Like, like, that's that's cool. Cool. Uh, deep in prep, I do, yeah. But I try and keep my strength like there until like five weeks, four weeks. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus. Cluster fuck of what happened. You just won't quit, eh? Dude, you can't end like uh, can't end like that. I'm, I don't want to compete next year, but I don't want to like just show up, look great, and right, right off into the sunset. Yeah, I mean, I just want to like, dude. I, I'm at this point is like, if I win my pro card, fucking great. But like, I can't like, dude. That was my worst look. Yeah. Ever. I just can't like, yeah. I can't like that. It's a bitch move. First like, ten weeks or eight weeks. Last two. Mm-hmm. The end. Yeah, I'm dead. It's, yeah. <laughs> but like, it, and I also like it is like, there's no high class. So like every time before we do the high class and they oh. give a pro card to the overall winner, right? Yeah. What they're doing this is they're basically um, there's no high classes and they give five pro cards the top to five. the top five. That's cool. So I'd rather I like being tall, like yeah. you know, who knows if that works to your advantage, but to me it does. Works to my advantage being tall as people. So I don't know why they ever even have them. As soon as you turn pro, then there's no more high classes. So like, what's the point? Sense. The guy who won that class was six uh, four, like two thirty five. Jesus. He had him. He had five pounds. He could have like, have, like he wasn't like a yeah. drip, but his six four, two thirty five. You're a fucking big That's human a big being. Boy, yeah. yeah. It's like four pounds up to my stage weight. Is it? Yeah. I'm like two thirty eight. A few inches shorter, but. This fun guy it was it was he won his show like two weeks before, first show ever. Comes in, it's his fucking pro card. <laughs> just those people. Probably died in for like yeah. fucking six weeks. I mean, that's what happened to Vaughn. Oh really? He, well, he he died. He did a hard diet, but he first show ever. Next week did what was that team U? Something? Universe, yeah, team that yeah. one, and he got a pro card. Yeah, just like that. He's a kid's a freak though. Is he? Yeah. He wants to do classic though, right? Yeah. He's got no legs right now, but. Drowning, drowning, I'm off the deep end. Apparitions of all my demons, all my thoughts are committing treason. All alone, who gon' hear me screaming? Manifestations of my fears, regrets that stretched out for light years. Can almost touch the light, homie, it's right there. Body free, but trapped in my. I'm making that workout in. We are doing a uh, kind of a push. We're not gonna do much tricep, but uh, heavy had a couple presses. We got a fly in. Now we're moving to delts. Basically, one, two uh, warm ups, feeder, all out sets, and we go. All right, hey guys, we have transitioned to uh, the Revive Gym, but also Revive Wellness. So just like in Franklin, we have a carbon culture, or carbon performance, I should say, attached to what will be Revive Wellness. So this is something you would see when you open the gym wellness clinic in Franklin. This is kind of the standard. Very nice, very modern, very clean. Same standard, same franchise. We'll be opening sometime end of the year, beginning of next. Day two of travel. Um, today we have a couple meetings here in Boca Raton, uh, a large beverage account, and then a, a supplement account. Um, nothing really to note. Uh, we did survive uh, Cross's driving, which was amazing. Um, no accidents. We went to the bank, I think, three different times. But other than that, we are here. A couple meetings. We'll uh, get a workout in the middle of it, and we'll probably do some filming. workout um, believe it or not unfortunately I didn't do two days it's the same outfit as yesterday couldn't get to the bottom of the gym bag today I just grabbed what I had made do quick workout uh, four back exercises mainly upper back t-bar row we did a pull down then we did uh, a uh, body masters leverage low row then another low row so uh, four exercises four sets just got it in at Redcon gym here in Boca Raton 
What is up, YouTube? Uh, we are finishing the night, getting a cab ride back to the hotel. Not a uh, crazy day, but not a slow day. We uh, started at, uh, I think it was up about 5 this morning. Pretty standard. Um, breakfast, first of a meeting uh, at a big beverage company. Just had a, uh, had a little break, a little Redcon gym uh, in Boca Raton. Had a meeting here back to the hotel and I think we'll probably get to sleep for about mm, about five hours Cross is pretty excited about that and then we head on the way to Utah to see the new site so uh, giddy up uh, today was not as eventful as the day before we're gearing up to see that new Armada Utah production site tomorrow should be a good one stay tuned yo a little before 4 a.m. Only time I'm gonna get cardio in today, so I knocked that half an hour out. Uh, it's um, a little early, six something a.m. flight, like 5:30 boarding time. Long flight, Salt Lake City, five hours from Miami. But uh, we'll get that in. Had to check out the new Armada uh, site today. We are actually starting some polling and measuring for some blending end of the week. So exciting times finally here. Get you up. It to Salt Lake City. Um, long five hour flight. It's only uh, 9.57 a.m. here. So we're gonna get this day started. Old Starbucks, you know the trick in the previous video. And then we're gonna head to Armada and we'll get the tour going. Is it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Days. Yeah. So, yeah, because yeah, we, we want to be running for some of those products the second uh, yeah. November and December. Yeah. So we'll probably, uh, I think we could do a tour in 10 minutes. Half hour, 45 minutes, we could start at 11.45. We've got a mixture of Pernova, Nagasi, Tennessee, Utah, so it's one happy family today. Hello, I am Nathan Hirschner. Um, I'm on the technical service team for Utah. Welcome to the Utah facility. Right here is where we bring in our receiving, the receiving office, so all raw materials that come in through the door is received. Um, over here are going to be the sampling bays. Um, where all the samples are pulled for testing, for micro-analytical, organoleptic testing. Um, after they are approved, they're going to be moved to a staging area and then into the racks. So here are the sampling rooms. Uh, these are where raw materials are received in and packaging components. Um, they're tested, pulled for micro-analytical and organoleptic testing. Um, the analytical and micro testing are sent to the laboratory and then they are released, staged temporary here, and then brought up onto the racks. This is one of the way suites that we have here in Utah. So after all of the raw materials have been pulled for an order, they're brought into these rooms. Um, we have two different weighing suites um, as part of this. This is where all the raw ingredients are weighed up for the exact quantities that are going to, into a work order. Um, as soon as they're weighed, verified, and checked by quality. So after all the raw materials have been weighed out in the measuring suites, they're going to be brought into the staging area. Um, here they're going to be sorted by order, um, brought up into that mezzanine, where they're going to go into the charging, be dispensed down into the IBCs, which are the giant container blenders that we use to blend product here. Um, each of the IBCs is 3,100 liters. This is our Macon blending system. This will take the IVCs full of powder um, using a tumble blend system uh, to blend the powder and create a homogenous blend. Um, the powder will be about 70% full. Cool. And one of the really cool features that we have is an NIR mount, which uses near infrared spectroscopy to monitor blend homogeneity in real time. So it's able to take a, almost a five to 10 millimeter probe into the blend, um, match it with real time uh, checks every single revolution, um, and be able to determine how the blend homogeneity is tracking. These are our charging stations. Uh, so after the powder has been straight, it's brought into the charging room. Um, these will actually be funneled and screened to these vibratory rhythmic tip stations directly down into the IBC on the lower level. So this room is going to be essentially a giant car wash um, where the IBCs will be loaded on, foamed, cleaned, and dried all the way through a continuous process. 
Um, dirty IVCs come in one end, clean ones come out the other. This is gonna be our on-site analytical micro lab. We're gonna have dedicated locations for ICP, UPLCs, uh, micro capabilities, um, and we'll be able to test almost all analytes in-house. Hi, I'm Zach Metfed, I'm the lab supervisor here. Uh, we are in what will be our analytical chemistry lab. This is where we will test for um, potency of vitamins, caffeine, anything that's going to be listed on your nutrition facts uh, panel uh, with a, a label claim of, of that sort. Uh, here we're in our microbiology lab. This is where we're really fo focusing on safety of the product. We're going to make sure that there's no pathogens that are going to make anyone sick. Um, we're going to make sure that the, there's no yeast or molds, things that will uh, compromise the shelf life of the product. So, uh, whereas the other lab is much more about validating what we put on the bottle is, is what's in the product, here we're making sure that the product is safe for the consumer. Uh, this is uh, going to be our last stop in the lab. This is where our uh, heavy metals and mineral testing is. So it's kind of a combination of the other two rooms. You know, we have safety, making sure there's not lead, arsenic, um, or curing things that will or hurt somebody. But then we're also going to make sure that you know whatever we say uh, is in the product from a mineral standpoint is is also accurate. You know, selenium, magnesium, sodium, that kind of thing. Uh, so it's kind of a combination of those two functions. Here is the reception area for the Utah factory. Um, we have the hallway that goes into the production area. Um, we'll have some dedicated conference rooms here, reception. Welcome to the office area for the Utah Armada factory. Um, this is where all of the management, um, break room, conference room, training rooms, and then down the hall is where we're going to have our customer facing product development laboratory um, for flavor work. This is going to be our dedicated R&D flavor lab. Um, we'll have a team of R&D technicians, specialists, um, working to create all of our flavors. Um, this will be a customer facing area where we can bring people in, work with you on flavors, and really align what the best product is going to be. This is a sneak peek at the Utah factory. Um, we're about one day of running product for the very first time. Much, much more to come. Don Goss. He made me quit like 12 years ago. On his golf course, I killed his caddy. It was very dangerous for the golfer on left. You could get injured. <laughs>
What is up? So we're here kind of the last day of this trip. It started in Nashville. We went to uh, Stewart, went to Boca, Miami, Salt Lake. We're in Salt Lake today. We're gonna get a workout before our flight. Legs, not really looking forward to it. Probably not the smartest thing to do before you jump on a plane, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, today was a pretty wild one. Yesterday ended up being like a, I think my time I went to bed, about a 21 hour day. Gotta wake up to a nice 5 a.m. Zoom call. Uh, literally had the alarm for 4.55 brushing my teeth basically while I'm taking the call. But no complaints here. I'm gonna get this workout in. I'm gonna do a little pre. I'm not gonna show you exactly what it is. This has not been released. We'll call it beta testing. It is uh, part of the uh, C-Bum line. <coughs> Babbage pre-workout, new flavor. Honestly, might be my favorite flavor to date. Uh, should be dropping probably in the next couple weeks. And as you can see, we are just getting hydrated here. So uh, we'll probably film a little bit of the leg workout. We'll kind of just do maybe some top sets and then we are off back to Nashville. I meant to say we are at uh, the gym in Salt Lake City, so if you're ever downtown Salt Lake, probably the best gym. I've been coming here the last few months as we get Armada open. Really clean, never overly crowded, so the gym in Salt Lake. Uh, also, not really feeling it today. It's one of those days that uh, just ripping through it, just get it done. So some, day, some days they say, you know, gotta be motivated, gotta be this, gotta be that. I'm not motivated today. It's just discipline, really. So I'm getting through it on discipline, not on motivation. Sometimes you just have to switch it, and that's what it is. 16 weeks today, so. I have 16 weeks to get my ass in gear, to step back on stage and uh, redeem myself. Here we are. This is a common theme. This is, uh, to me, the best value, best bang for the buck there is. Denny's is a uh, wide range of uh, many. You got, uh, these, uh, where the hell are they at? The uh, Sizzler, it's a bunch of like vegetables, you get chicken with it. Uh, you got the unhealthy stuff, you got a variety of pancakes. By the way, Charles, this one's for you, the strawberry pancake puppies. If you don't try them, it's a huge mistake today. Oh, I'm, I'm this getting is, it. This is a slice of heaven. <laughs> I mean, if you can't find something on this menu. You're wrong. Yeah, you're just, <laughs> you don't get it. Healthy to unhealthy to, uh, Really, I mean, come on. Get a meal for five bucks. <laughs> 